Hi, my name is Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel and this is the third time that I've tried to make this video because we've got a little plane doing loop-the-loops and it's really annoying so I've got to get this in quick before he comes back. Um, basically I've had some feedback that the database that I've made that runs on the Airtable platform which is relatively comprehensive and really needs to, you know, it's best for somebody who's reasonably IT literate and with, you know, moderately sophisticated needs. Uh, it's a bit too complicated for some people. And to be honest, it's a bit too complicated for me some of the time. Because what I just really want is a nice quick reference that I can just look up anytime, anywhere. Just sort of got it on my phone all the time. And so that's what I've created. I've created an, a view of the whole year structured by months. Um, and it's nice illustrated with some nice photos from the allotment and it kind of you know it's structured along these lines so it kind of defines all the terms that uh, I've used um, to you know describe you know the modules or pot sewing or whatever you know whatever types of sewing technique I recommend for different types of veg uh, then it goes it has a little section on the kind of principles um, that I believe in from a gardening perspective and bear in mind I've only been gardening for four years so I'm still learning um, and there's a lot of n stuff that you know viewers of this channel are much more experienced than me often um, might want to comment on there and then I just go through each month I provide a very short uh, list of the main jobs to do in that month things like pruning or mulching or fertilizing or whatever um, and then a sewing section by month. Now I've tried to sort of differentiate this sewing section in a couple of ways. So the first one is that I do try and provide a sort of rational view of successions in this. So there's lots of mentions as to you know when you finish this crop do this crop type of thing. Um, I also try and provide the sort of logic, uh, all my background thinking uh, as to why I'm making the recommendations that I'm recommending. And what's the third thing? Um, yeah, I also try to provide alternatives for year-round growers. So radishes gives a good illustration of this. You know, radish is great in spring, it's great in autumn, but it's, you know, there are a few varieties you can grow in winter, but they're not fantastic in my opinion. Um, and you know they grow really slow as well and it's not so great in summer it's it often goes woody it needs loads of water etc etc so I've you know I recommend certain dates for radishes um, but what I also recommend is that you try something like say cucumber melons which are a, a, a sort of tangy crunchy little um, fruit uh, but they're, they're not that sweet and they've, you know, they've got a very sort of radishy taste to them, uh, although they're not quite as spicy. But anyway, they serve the same purpose in a salad mix. And in winter, I recommend ochre tubers. Uh, so they stay fresh all the way through winter. They're really crunchy and zesty. Uh, and I think most people who like radish are going to like ochre tubers. So you know, that, that's basically a, an example of the kind of successions uh, of different types of veg uh, that serve the same purpose. So anyway, it's a start. This is the first version, um, although actually it says the third version because I had a few iterations uh, to get to this point. Uh, but it's the first real sort of published version of it. Uh, and I'd love feedback from you uh, as to how I could improve it, anything that you think is wrong, um, anything extra that I could add that would be make it even more helpful. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm quite pleased with it. I've already started using it. And uh, so, yeah, I just love some feedback. OK, I'll see you soon. Oh, I should say, <laughs> there's a link in the description if you want a copy of it. Um, it's a web page. Obviously, you could just cut and paste it into any document uh, and, you know, just cut and paste it into Word, for example. Um, and then you can edit it uh, to your own uh, needs because it's my timings and you know if you want to know where we are look at the frequently asked questions uh, document that's linked 
in this document and that tells you sort of everything about you know the broader context of the way that we grow and where we grow and all of that sort of thing um but uh yeah so uh i hope it's useful and i'll see you soon